This tutorial helps you set up your Ender 3 V2 with instructions for manual bed leveling and starting your first print. You might watch this video once or twice to familiarize yourself with the procedures before actually performing them. Then follow along step by step and pause the video when necessary. Note that a BL Touch is installed on the printer in this video. It may be on or off and some menu screens appear for its automatic features. However, the demonstrated procedures still apply to printers without this upgrade. If you added a BL Touch upgrade when ordering your printer from Tiny Machines 3D, go to the other tutorial video that covers automatic bed leveling. A link is provided in the description below. Note that this tutorial is specific to printers with custom firmware developed by Tiny Machines 3D. This firmware features more precise and advanced functions, improved interfaces, safety features, and tweaks that greatly enhance the overall performance of the printer, notably different from stock printers purchased elsewhere. All of this goes into every printer shipped by Tiny Machines 3D the result of extensive collaboration with Marlin developers and their primary firmware developer, David of Insanity Automation. Before we begin, credit goes to Chuck Hellebuck and his YouTube channel with tips and tricks for Ender 3 printers. A modified version of his corner leveling G-code is used as a part of this setup. You can find a link to his channel in the description below. After assembling the printer, checking that everything is secure and square and all cables are connected, plug in the power cable and turn on the power switch at the back left side. The welcome screen will appear, then the main menu. Insert the micro SD card, contact side up, in the slot on the front of the printer. On the menu, select print, then the TM corner level file. The G-code file instructs the printer to move the hot end to the front left corner of the bed and wait. Insert a piece of paper between the nozzle and bed, then turn the knob at the corner until the paper just begins to drag. If the paper will not fit, don't worry, lower the corner by turning the knob counterclockwise until the paper slides into position. Some bed knobs are marked to indicate which direction raises and lowers the bed, but they can be difficult to see. Turn clockwise to raise the bed and counterclockwise to lower it. Once the first corner is adjusted, press the knob and the hot end is moved to the back left corner of the bed. After adjusting each corner twice, pressing the knob to confirm each adjustment, the printer will auto home, bumping its end stops, and the procedure will end. Repeat this procedure if necessary to check or fine tune the adjustments. Place the filament on the spool holder on top of the printer. While this video shows a larger standard kilogram size spool of filament, a smaller sample roll is provided with the Ender 3 V2. However, regardless of the spool size, the loading procedure is the same. Select Prepare on the main menu, then either of the preheat options for PLA or ABS, depending on the filament being used. Wait and observe the nozzle temperature on the lower left until it reaches the set temperature. Carefully unwind the filament down to the extruder below. If the filament is bent or kinked, this will likely affect the printer's performance by restricting movement as it's fed to the hot end. Either cut these portions off or carefully straighten the filament. Use the included flush cutters to cut the end of the filament at an angle tapering it to a point. This is necessary to feed the filament into and through the extruder and down the Bowden tube to the hot end. While opening the spring-loaded idler arm on top of the extruder, carefully push the filament into the entry hole. Then feed the filament between the drive gear and idler pulley to the hole on the other side of the extruder and into the Bowden tube. As you use your printer, you'll develop a technique to squeeze the idler arm just the right amount to help guide the filament. Once the filament has entered the tube, 
You may either use the knob to advance the filament or you can gently squeeze the idler arm and feed it manually until it reaches the hot end. If the hot end is preheated to operating temperature, the amount of the resistance you feel will change as the filament is melted and excess filament may be extruded from the nozzle. It's important to prime the nozzle with filament, manually pushing it through the nozzle as its standard procedure to extrude filament immediately as a print begins. Pre-sliced print or G-code files are included on a micro SD card provided with the printer. Insert it contact side up into the slot on the left front of the printer. Be sure to remove any debris, paper, or tools from the bed, select print on the main menu, then scroll down to select the file you want to print. Here, the pre-sliced pig test print from Creality is selected. After the bed and hot end reach their set temperatures, the printer will perform an auto home. Next, the printer will perform a swipe along the edge of the bed then move to the center of the bed and print a skirt before the actual print begins. These two functions, which are included in the G-code file, serve three purposes. First, to remove any excess filament that may have emerged prior to contacting the bed. Second, this further primes the nozzle to establish consistent flow. Third, it's your final check to determine that the filament bead is sticking to the bed with the correct squish and bed adhesion. All of this is critical for a successful print. This represents a cross-section of the shape of the bead of filament that's needed as the skirt and first layers of your print are applied to the bed. If the nozzle is too low, there may not be any visible filament or it may appear flattened on the bed, and this can cause clogging issues at the hot end. You may hear the extruder click as this happens as the flow of filament is compromised. If the nozzle is too high, the bead will have a round shape, will not stick to the bed, and it can easily detach from the bed when you move your fingertip across it as a test while the skirt is being printed. If you have not achieved this by the time the print begins, it is recommended to stop the print, remove everything from the bed, and start again. Though you may observe what appears to be a successful first layer, it's recommended to stay at the printer and watch as the additional base layers of the print are added, especially if you are new to 3D printing. Here, if you look closely, the first layers aren't ideal for an optimal print and appear rough and a little wavy. This is a sign that the Z offset could have been adjusted a little more. If you observe uneven printing where continuous portions of the first layer can vary in thickness and may look rough on one side, this is usually due to manual bed leveling issues. However, the print may still be successful as long as the first layer is adhered to the bed. Though these issues may not be detrimental to the overall quality of the final print, Observing them is an opportunity to learn, gain experience, and further adjust your printer to achieve better results as you begin each print. The Ender 3 V2 features a carborundum bed, a carbon lattice adhered to glass. It transfers and retains heat more efficiently and improves bed adhesion. For best results when removing a print, it's best to allow the bed to cool completely. Not doing so may result in a damaged bed surface. You may notice that the bed is placed glass side up in some sections of this video. This option may be preferred by some users and is suitable for specific filaments or print conditions. When cleaning this bed, do not use solvents, high percentage alcohol or acetone. Window cleaner and a microfiber cloth are more suitable as they won't damage the bed. Shown here, in its completed form, is another test print from Creality that is included with your printer, a cat different from the pig that was started before. You can see the removable supports that are included in the pre-sliced G-code file. To remove the print, wait for the bed to cool down to room temperature, then carefully pull the print from the bed, being mindful not to damage the print bed surface. 
it should detach without much effort. At the time of this video, there were some issues with this file. Some supports are missing, causing overhang issues. This is a perfect example of common 3D printing problems and learning how to correct them. A new file will be available on our website and with newer printers. By following this tutorial to set up and adjust your Ender 3 V2 and returning to it as needed, you will achieve successful prints and correct common issues that may cause failures. If you're a new user, welcome to the world of 3D printing. And as you watch this tutorial, learn and gain experience, you'll enjoy your new printer and everything you can create with it. Inspected and tested 3D printers. Upgrade installations by experienced technicians. Excellent service and support. Tiny Machines 3D.